One day, a long, long time ago, Angel Gabriel came round to Mary's house with some exciting news. Mary was going to have a baby called Jesus. Mary was shocked when Joseph came home. She told him her news. Joseph? Yes, Mary? I've got something to tell you, Joseph. Go ahead. I'm pregnant. But you're a virgin. It's not yours, Joseph. It's God's. Right, we're going over to his house. Get on the donkey now. <laughs> Nine months later, on Christmas Eve, Mary and Joseph travelled to Bethlehem on their donkey. It was a long journey, and the donkey got very tired. Around 10pm, way past their bedtime, Mary and Joseph arrived in Bethlehem, only to find that there was no spare rooms. They knocked on the door of an innkeeper and pleaded with him. So the innkeeper let them stay in the barn round the back of the inn. <laughs> Meanwhile, shepherds had heard of a new king and wanted to go and see them, but they didn't know how to get there. But as luck would have it, Angel Catherine appeared with her trusty sidekicks and told them to follow a star. Back at the barn, around 1am Christmas Day, Mary and Joseph became parents, the little baby Jesus in the stable. Burn! Ah! Burn! Ah! 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 <laughs> the shepherds arrived soon after to see the baby and say congratulations. They bought baby Jesus a baby lamb and other gifts. The shepherds were thrilled to see the new king. A few days later, three kings, or three, my, uh, three wise men, if you like better, uh, brought baby Jesus gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Some things I'm sure he'd be very grateful for in later life. All of the shepherds and king had a cuddle with the new baby Jesus. The animals and angels watched happily, and Mary and Joseph were the happiest parents in the world. Aww. The end.